Hey everyone, welcome to go back to my channel. Hope that you are all well. I feel like I need to like introduce myself because I've had a lot of new subscribers recently. So my name's Josie and I do videos on acne, body acne, lifestyle, family vlogs and makeup as well. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to my channels and to all my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. So today I'm going to be doing something, I thought it was called a derma planning but it turns out it's called a derma planing. Um, so I purchased these little razors on eBay. So I've already gone ahead and washed my face. Um, so I'm just online now researching what I need to do. So, so first what you need to do is cleanse your face. I've already gone ahead and cleansed my face with the Body Shop Tea Tree skin clearing facial wash and so secondly it says to pat dry and then apply a thin layer of almond or apricot or um any oil basically just to make sure the blade slides around the face i think that i'm just going to apply a little bit of the 100 percent organic cold press rose hip seed oil so i'm not going to go into too much detail about what dermaplaning is um because i think pretty much everybody knows um, but basically it is getting all the peach fuzz like the little hairs that we have all over our face some more than others <laughs> um, but yeah it's basically getting rid of the peach fuzz and then the dead skin it allows your skincare products to penetrate deeper into the skin better makeup application it can help fade acne scarring which I definitely need but it does say if you do have acne prone skin or active breakouts then just to avoid that area so i am having a little breakout like all this here is just acne scarring um i've got some active pimples under here so i won't be touching this area um i've got a breakout here and then i've got some just really under the skin spots here so i think i'm going to give that area like a mess and then do like this section and work around at this spot and then I'll be able to do my nose here and here as normal but I think I'm just gonna miss this section out just because I don't want to cause any more irritation be fair i did i do have a little tissue here just to show you what has come off of my skin um i'll try and show you that's all the hair that's come off and then there's like a little bit of dead skin and then some black heads as well So yeah, I am done. My skin just feels really itchy and irritated now. When I zoom the camera into my skin, it really focuses on like the hyperpigmentation and stuff like that. But it's really not that red in person as what it comes up like when I'm like this close. I don't know why it does that. Um, obviously, I miss this area out just because it is so, mm, it's really inflamed and I know that there's gonna be a lot of breakups over here 
But um, yeah, I managed to do the rest of my skin. It just feels really, really itchy at the minute. So what I'm going to do is just rinse my skin with like lukewarm water. I'm just going to head and wash my face and my skin doesn't feel like a soft and smooth like a baby's bum. But obviously I do have a lot of, a lot going on with my skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some hyaluronic acid. This is just from The Ordinary. I don't use it on a regular basis or anything like that. I just don't think that it did anything extraordinary to my skin. But I know that people apply this after they do that. This tingles a little bit. I'm just going to pat it in. So what I'll probably do now is um, end the video here and then come back in the morning and show you what my skin is looking like. So it's the next day now, so this is my skin. I've just washed, toned and moisturised and I didn't get any irritation whatsoever, so. This is what my skin looks like. Obviously I didn't do this bit.